Hi, it's Elizabeth Merrick, and we're looking at part two of the Jarvis boss mode commands. Check this out. So this new Jarvis boss mode is really incredible. Some people in the Facebook groups may have seen them. They're absolutely crushing it and they're producing incredible content in record time. Other people, they're struggling just a little bit. And part of the problem is that with this increased power comes a little bit more complexity. So I've developed a framework, um, basically an exercise. It's really helped my clients be able to master Jarvis and the boss mode really fast. And I think you might find this helpful as well. So first of all, um, before we go into that, if you find these videos helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video. It helps us with YouTube and it also helps get this information out to other people as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard here. And here's the dashboard. We're going to go straight into documents and hit the plus key here for a new document. And we're going to start from scratch. Now, Whenever something gets more complex, which is easy to do, in order to be able to master it and learn the nuances, we like to reduce the number of variables to it and practice at that level. So we're just going to work in this center area here. We're going to completely ignore all the inputs here on the left for the time being. And the way I like to start this is to come up with a command for Jarvis that is really simple, just a single sentence and something everybody can recognize instantly and that way you can see you know if the content output is good right away you know it just instantly and <laughs> i've got an idea here let's go with this write a thank you email so with this framework with this command write a thank you email it's very very simple and we're going to use the same command over and over again and learn how the different functions, the different controls give us different outputs. And in this framework, we've got three different keys, actually. This should be command key through here. So we don't confuse the actual command line from the command keys that we're going to be typing. And I call these the three money keys or the three power keys because there's three ways to get Jarvis in boss mode to actually produce content, to trigger him to go ahead and produce output. But there's some nuances to this and we're going to practice each one. Command key enter or control key enter for Windows machines. Um, that tells Jarvis to go ahead and respond to the command. Write a thank you email. We're going to see him actually write a thank you email. Command key shift enter is the exact same command. However, I really like it because it leaves the actual command write a thank you email on the screen. So as you're working through your document, sometimes it gets a little confusing because it's it's kind of like an orchestra. You know, you get a whole symphony going and you want to go back and find out what was that command I used before? And it's kind of hard to go back and see what was done. So with the command key shift enter, we can actually keep the original command on the screen so you've got that as a reference and we're going to see that in just a moment and then we've got the command key plus j that's actually telling jarvis to compose he's not responding to the command write a thank you email with actually writing and thank you email he's actually looking at is here's the input keep on writing, keep on going, so to speak. And it's the exact same function as what we have over here with the compose button and control J. You can literally interchange the two. They're exactly the same. But these are the three different ways to get Jarvis in boss mode to actually start creating copy. Now for this framework here, I went ahead and put in bold the actual keystrokes that we're using just as a reference. And you'll notice there's three asterisks before each command line. And that's telling Jarvis, don't look at anything above the command line. And we've got it, the three asterisks here, here, and over here as well. And this is just a practice framework to get familiar with using the different commands and seeing what kind of output we get. So in this case, in the first one, write a thank you email. I'm working from a Windows machine. So I'm actually going to hit control enter and you'll see the command turn blue and then it's going to disappear. And then we get 
the actual output, which you can see Jarvis is busy going away, going through actually, producing an email, a thank you email. So in this example, you'll see he, he's constructed a thank you email for a generous donation. Now the command, write a thank you email, it leaves a lot of interpretation, a lot of room for Jarvis to get creative. So we don't really know what he's going to come up with. But in this example, you can see how command key enter or control key enter actually takes away the original command line and replaces it with the execution, which in this case is actually writing a thank you letter. Thank you email rather. Let's go ahead and do the same command here. Only this time we're going to add the shift key. And by adding the shift key, you'll see that we turn blue just like before. Jarvis is responding by actually writing a thank you email. But in this case, the original command that stays on the screen. And I found that extremely helpful because as you work through Jarvis in boss mode, there are so many fine nuances that you get to control now. It's kind of nice to have that reference of, you know, how did I exactly get that output before? <laughs> <laughs> and with the command key shift enter, it keeps that original command on the line. So you can see in this example, again, in the boss mode, Jarvis went ahead and actually wrote a thank you email. A little bit different than the first one because the write a thank you email is so generic. There's so much room for interpretation. You never quite know exactly where he's going to go with it. But in both cases, Command key enter, he wrote an email, and command shift enter, he wrote an email. Now with command key J, you're going to see that not only does it not turn blue, but he just continues writing based on the input, write a thank you email. Now, sometimes he might write an email, but most of the time I found that he actually talks about writing a thank you email. So which output is useful? Well, it depends on what your needs are, what you're trying to write. Um, it's a matter of getting some experience and some practice to know which command to use. And there's only three of them that actually tell Jarvis to start writing. But with this exercise, you start to learn which command to use, where and when. And it's really helpful. Let's go ahead and do this over again. And in this case, I'm going to copy this, put it right back there. Um, but now that we've seen Jarvis write a thank you email, let's add a few more details there and see how he responds. Let's say write a thank you email for purchasing my course. And we're going to make these commands the same for all of these. And by reducing down the variables, it's really helpful to get a better understanding of what type of outputs Jarvis is going to give us for different situations. It helps take care of that complexity. So again, our command line now is write a thank you email for purchasing my course. And let's see what he comes up with. In this case, we're using the command key enter, control enter. And you'll notice by adding, thank you for purchasing my course, his response here in the email is now focused on, thank you for purchasing my course. And let's do the same thing again. Again, we're gonna do control shift enter. And he turns blue, he's working on the email. And as you can see, the original command stays on the screen. So you have that as a reference. So you can see again here, he's referencing, thank you for purchasing the course. And just by adding, thank you for purchasing my course, you can see how the output is now being steered with a slight little change to the input. And we're gonna do the same thing down here with Control J. And this is just telling Jarvis to compose. He's not actually responding to the command by writing an email. It's just telling him, keep on going with the idea, with the concept. So in this particular example, his additional composition was 
not quite what I was looking for. I don't find that particularly helpful. So we're going to do it again. Control J. <laughs> Let's see what he comes out this time. So this content's interesting. It may or may not be useful, but now you're starting to get a feel for what the difference is between the Control J versus the Control Shift and I'm sorry, Control Shift Enter and the Control Enter. And when to use which one is when part of the artistry comes in with this. And let's try this example here. Let's take this second case and put the cursor right here. Now that we know that Command J or Control J tells Jarvis to keep on writing, let's see if he's going to expand on this particular email that we wrote previously. So now you can see how we can layer these different controls. And we've got one command, write a thank you email for purchasing my course. In this particular case, we use command key plus shift plus enter, and we got a nice little email that Jarvis composed. And then we wanted him to expand on that, and he added to that by using control J. So this exercise has really helped my coaching clients quite a bit. We were taking a situation that gets complex very, very quickly with layer after layer after layer, and reducing it down, reducing the number of variables so you can start to master the nuances. And we're focusing on just those three money makers, the three ways to get Jarvis to actually produce outputs. And once you get a hold of this, it's a lot like riding a bicycle in that it goes to the back of your brain. Instead of thinking about all the different things you have to control, you start to just ride. You just start to write with Jarvis. And it's worthy of spending some time to master this because this is a long-term asset. Jarvis will continue to perform for you for many, many years. So it's worth it to take some time now, learn how to use these tools, and it'll be completely amazing. And you'll start crushing it too, just like the people in the Facebook group. Now, we're going to be producing some more videos and some more nuances as the next steps to mastering Jarvis. Mm -hmm.